Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. By special request, I will be doing my review of this Sony CCD TRV 128 high 8 camcorder. So I'll be talking about just a review in general and then my experience with it and how to find them. Uh, so on the front starting out, you have your mono microphone. It looks like there's two of them, but it is just mono. Um, this is where night shot is. I'll talk about that later, but the IR sensor for night shot is in there. And then you got three LEDs hidden behind that frosted glass right there. Uh, this is a Sony video lens. This isn't the fancier Carl Zeiss lens, but this has a 37 millimeter lens thread with a 20x optical zoom and definitely not going to want to use digital zoom. Um, right here you have an S video jack, which is important for high eight so that you can, uh, you can plug it into your computer and you can download high quality video from this. So when you're transferring it, it'll be higher quality. Um, over here on the side, you got video high eight branding. This is a display dash battery info button and I'll show you, whoops, I'll show you how to use that right here. So you're just going to press that and it shows you your battery level. And this does have a viewfinder as well. It is black and white and it's extendable like that. So it does work for fairly nice. Uh, this is an easy handy cam uh, button. That is basically it. it takes away all your menu settings and all you can do is really record and it makes some of the lettering a little larger and easier to see. Uh, these are all your playback functions right here. It's your counter reset because it is a dummy counter. It just uh, it doesn't keep track of the tape, so it's just a little timer running. Uh, you got date and time. Since this is an analog camcorder, you can put those on separately, and it is actually recorded into the media. Um, you got an easy dub button. I'm not sure what that does, but I think it's, ha it ha it's having to do with transferring it to your computer. It makes it a little easier for that. Uh, I got tilers. That's one of, the, one of the reasons I got it. I wanted to put tiles on my videos. Uh, you have 12 presets, you can make two custom ones, I'll show you that in a minute. Your exposure, manual exposure, menu, your volume, and end search, which finds the end of the uh, pre-recorded media on a tape. You got your reset button, so if stuff goes crazy, you can just hit that button and it'll reset everything. Uh, you got a speaker, this is a 2.5 inch color LCD, it is not a touch screen, but it does have this little latch to release it. Over here, you have your viewfinder, like I said, battery release, a light button, faders, uh, backlight, and focus, and then this is your menu wheel, and you push that to execute. This is the Infolithium N battery. I've gotten good results from this, probably about 90 minutes, which isn't that bad. So, pretty good for that, even though it's like a 14-year-old battery. Um, this is your power switch. You slide that down to turn it on, and then you can press it down again to go into playback. This is your charge, um, light, your camera, and your play edit. Uh, the record button on this is actually quite small. You can see it compared to my thumb. And so is the zoom. This is one of my least favorite things about it is the zoom rocker is very small. And it's hard to get a very quick zoom and a controlled zoom because there's not much to play with right there. On the top of the camcorder, you have Night Shot Plus, which is the main reason I got this. This is uh, this is IR vision or night vision, and in, in zero lux, you can see in complete pitch blackness because this has night vision with it. Um, over here is the branding, and this hand strap is actually really nice. It's kind of like cloth material that you kind of find in like a car or something, but. Uh, right here under this piece of plastic is where the video head lives. Um, like I said, there's your screen. I'll turn it to the bottom really quick. And this one was made in 2004. The third quarter, there's a date code. Also has a uh, your general tripod uh, mount and a locator pin. Under here, this is how you eject it. There's where your tape lives. I'll show you that in a minute. And this can only record... Well, okay, it can record on 8mm and high 8 tapes, but it can't play back 8mm tapes. So there is no way to change the record setting from high 8 to 8mm, if you were wondering. But, yes, so I'll go ahead and power this camera on. And one thing about this, the only thing that was defective is the speaker on my unit does not work. 
So, I mean, that's not an issue. All you have to do is plug it into your TV, then you can get sound, or plug it into a speaker with your aux cable. But right here on the screen, you got your battery life. It's in standard play. It's recording in high eight. Um, it's not recording right now. That's standby. That's how long I've been recording. Oh, again, it's a dummy counter, but I've been leaving it like that. Tape remaining, and there's your date. I can add the date as well, or the time. And you can take away the time. This does have an auto date, but you can take uh, both of them away. You can add both of them. I just like to keep the time on. Um, I'll go through some of your faders with you first. So you're going to press that down. you got a stripe fader, which is where it fades in uh, horizontally with little stripes of, or lines of resolution, I should say. you got a monotone fader. Not sure what that one does. you got a black fader, white fader, and mosaic. Okay, so I'll show you how powerful the white is. Like that. It's pretty bright, actually. And I was surprised that the bulb actually worked. Um, okay, now I'll go ahead and enter in the menu settings right here. I'll show you some of the menu settings. You got your, pro oh, whoops, sorry. You got your program auto exposure, program effects, which is really cool. You got negative art, sepia, black and white, solarized, slim, stretch, pastel, and mosaic. I don't know. This mosaic is really weird because you can't really see anything with it. It's kind of useless. But anyway, you got your auto shutter. Got your digital zoom 16 by 9 wide. It's not true 16 by 9 wide screen. It's just adding black bars on the top and bottom to make it look like it can fit. Because back in 2004, not many people had widescreen TVs. Um, and you got night shot light. Uh, that's, I'm not quite sure what that is. Maybe it's, I don't know. Um, okay, you got your LCD brightness, LCD backlight, and your LCD color. You can also adjust the backlight for the main picture, like I said right here, so if you're in front of a bright object. So those are different things. Uh, I got your tape set, sorry, that's the record, or that's the menu setting. You got your record mode, your arc to set, I'm not quite sure what that is, and you got your remaining, which is that little bar of how much tape you have left that I talked about. Uh, you have your clock set, your auto date, like I said, LTR size, not sure what that is either. Your language, there's your demo mode, there's your world time, which I was surprised that this had a world time. Uh, you got your beeps that obviously don't work because the speaker's broken. Your auto shut off and your display. So I'll show you if you press this button in playback or like this. It'll make all that disappear on the top. Um, end search, like I said. Um, I'll go into playback so I can show you how that works. So you're going to switch that down to playback. And you use this, you can rewind it. Like so. And there's me, I was out exploring a little bit. There's your rewind. And there's your pause. And this motor on this is actually pretty silent. It's not as loud as some digital eight camcorders. And the tapes on here you can record for 120 minutes on standard play. And then this specific tape that I have, well, the specific tape I have is also a hybrid for digital eight. So you can only record a max of 120 minutes on here. But in here's your video head, everything is working. You can see that damper right there. So my experience with this has been pretty good for the past two or three days. It hasn't thrown up any error codes and nothing too obvious has gone wrong with it other than the speaker, which was already at fault. Um, so I do have to say this is a pretty good camcorder. I only got it for $20, excluding shipping, but these are pretty expensive. You can find the digital version of this for about $200 at least. And so, yeah, this is a good camera. Uh, I forgot to mention the DC in right here. Is that that's what that looks like? It's the older one, and this does have little threadings right there for your shoulder strap. 
And when I first got this, I could not find, well, I could not find where the AV port went. It's actually behind here. This thing is for like a, an aftermarket accessory. So you can power like a different microphone with this or, or charge it with that. And this is your AV right there. And there you guys go. That is my review of the Sony Handycam CC TRV128 Hi8 camcorder. Stay tuned for next week's video. Thanks for watching.